Follow me. Have you ever bought or rented a videotape that wasn't quite right? Mad. So today is a very special day. Why? Have you heard of this guy before? Yeah, him. Yep, that bloke. You ever heard of World Time Attack Challenge? Watch. Yep, all that. We've come to hang out with Mr. Baker himself for the whole day. Not just like drop by and say hello, the whole day. We're going for lunch, do some cool stuff, and then we're going to the pub. Stay with us. This is gonna be mad. We'll call him up. Mad. What's going on, mate? How are you? I'm good, what's happening? Oh, you know. Happy Friday, what about you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where the boss lives in there. Oh, he's not here today, so we can get away with murder. <laughs> Got a street machine there for you. Copy of Streety, nice. Give us the tour. There. Actually, I'll start over here. These are the old collectible bikes, you know, that we, they're out of, it's like, you know how when your dad used to hide something from you, you wanted to get it, but you couldn't, you couldn't, you, it was just out of reach, so we put them up there so I can't get to them. <laughs> <laughs> that's a 1983 uh, quad angle. That's quite rare, that one, with the big boy bars. They're all they're all actually old, like restored, original, using all the old parts and everything. Because how long you had them for? Ages. Oh, ten, well, yeah, probably ten years or something. But so they're just stupid money. The bloody goosenecks are like 600 bucks, and <laughs> so I just I like them. So you got a fair passion for BMXs? Oh yeah, because well, I always bought them when I was young. And I couldn't have them. You know, I couldn't afford them. <laughs> I bought that from Canada. Actually, it's NOS frame. All these are all original tyres and wheels and all that, like it's all, the pedals are not there. It would have taken about 300 paper runs to make money to buy a bike well, like you, that you back in the days. afford it back then, you had to have rich parents, you know, <laughs> so, so as soon as I could afford one, I just <laughs> bought one. <laughs> so this is an exhaust header off Mark Webber's, I think it was the last of the V8 um, Red Bull F1 car. Wow. Oh, yeah. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? How'd you get that? <laughs> oh, I, I found it. <laughs> <laughs> This one here, this is a piston and a connecting rod out of Ayrton Senna's uh, McLaren MP44 Honda engine. Well, have a look at the bearing here. So yeah, I got that given to me. Eh? I, was, I was in um, in this workshop in Japan. This guy's working on old Skylines and Supers now. I think he had an NSX in there. My mate goes, see that over there? It's an old F1 engine. And I went, it is too, man. It's like a proper <laughs> F1 engine, but it's all like old mechanical injection. And anyway, he says, um, he says, oh yeah, I was number two mechanic for Eton Center. I'm like, no, <laughs> it's like royalty, right? Anyway, I'm like, I was walking around Oak going, really? So I work for Honda, Honda, not for McLaren, for Honda. I was number two. Anyway, when I was leaving, he gave me that. And this, there's a turbo off the same car. Wow. So they see they break the um, they break the. Uh, break the blade so you can never use it. That's like a real trick hybrid thing that would have been made by IHI back in the day for F1. Far out. Look at how small the little housing is. That's pretty cool, isn't it? That's crazy. Mm. Oh, there you are. Let's have a look at this. Adrian's gonna be the first person to go down the quarter mile. Geez, Ben, I'll tell you what, man, you've come a long way <laughs> since, like, since the time I've, time I've seen you at the Palace Hotel. <laughs> That's its genuine soak up. Dave Marriott bought that back from Las, Ant Las Vegas from me. I'm sure you've played some uh, numbers on that. Well, I used to till I cut my <laughs> finger off, yeah. <laughs> How'd you do that? I was building a chopper downstairs. I was building this old Harley chopper and, uh, and I got my thing caught in the thing. of the <laughs> story. But that's what happens when you go, go from being a professional fabricator to not doing it for many years and you just, and I never hurt myself when I was, I did it for 20 years as a professional fabricator and, and then I go back to doing some hobby stuff and, Cut your finger off. <laughs> That's what happens. So years ago, we've done a lot of stuff, development stuff with GDR Nissans, and one of the biggest problems with them has always been the oil oil surge. It was always their biggest letdown, and um, one of the biggest things I, I never understood why in the in the um, why they never put a bigger sump on them in the first place. So years and I'm going back 15, 20 years ago, we developed this thing which got wing, wing, have a look, there's wing gates inside the thing. So 
uh, basically controls the oil surge. They make them in two different types. You make the casts, uh, which is the cheaper version. You can actually buy them, spray them all around the world. You just cut the bottom off and weld it on. Or we can do it all for you. And this is all through High Octane Racing? Yeah, correct. High Octane Racing in Sydney, Australia. So that's the new UAO52 Yokohama tyre. Have you seen them before? Never. It's a replacement for the, uh, for the 8 r Yeah, this, this is probably what we're going to use the new control tyre for the uh, club sprint class in the future. They're, they're in between. They're probably one of the stickiest road tyres you can buy. Bad. What do we got here? Let's look at old, old Skyline, the Mi Champ. <laughs> An old Datsun? Old Datsun, yeah. So this is, um, this is, we make a dry sump kit for these two, which is traditionally only really used in racing or very high in sports cars. But it's the only way you can really bulletproof a GDR. The problem is these cars have such high horsepower and high levels of grip. They see levels of, of uh, you know, movement in the sump that you wouldn't normally see in, a, in an everyday car. So, you know, these really, really cried out for a dry sump. And years ago, when we took Mark Berry's car to Japan in 07 and we turned up there. We turned up there and, um, and we were going round and round the Japanese going, oh, no, you shouldn't do that. We're going, a dry sump. No, 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 you can't dry sump, GDR. No, no, it is. No, 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 it is. Oh, <laughs> you know. But since then, we've done hundreds of them, you know. And it's it's very expensive upgrade, but I'll tell you what, it's cheaper than a new engine. And um, yeah, so we perfected that years ago. I, I believe we're the first in the world to do that. Uh, I, will, I shouldn't say it, possibly Nismo or any other professional racing class would have always done that. But in terms of selling it to make it available to the general public, I'm pretty sure we're the first to do that. So you can have a look up here, you can see the, the oil lives in a separate tank. And um, um, depending on what the application is, where we put the tank. So you're saying that, that a lot of the Skyline stuff is, was a big part of building high octane? What, what was in the early days, yeah. So, so back in, you know, we, I used to do build Tarmac Rally GDRs back in the and like circuit cars back when they were, they were very expensive you know and um, uh, there wasn't many of me either like I actually had one in an R32 my development car was in in 2001 I had it you know so yeah I guess we've been doing a fair while yeah. yeah. Hi I'm, I'm Ian Baker this is Brad Heisman. <laughs> Hi Brad Heisman. This, 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 this is the latest technology <laughs> from Datsun Industries over in Japan. Um, yeah this is the uh, that. Oh, that's, a that's one of those. This is the throttle cable. <laughs> he knows a bit about suspension though, apparently. What do you feel like, Jay Benz? I don't know, we go for a bit of lunch, what do you reckon? Yeah, I think so. It'd be I'm bloody rude, not to be on Australian, not too <laughs> really, wouldn't it? Very important, always have an I-30 in your fleet. This is for the ATA to look at. <laughs> Read it. What if you don't say? like the Cosmic Psychos, you're a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty true, isn't it? <laughs> Mad. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of people, you might just think that all you do is just well time attack, but it's not the case. Pretty much no. Well, in saying that, normally six months of the year, yeah, uh, it's pretty well. You know, unlike the summer, that's the big guys. Yeah, we don't have a massive team of staff. It's you know me and Alan and Inga really. And um, so so six months of the year, I am pretty much doing that. So this year, it's been pretty relaxing. <laughs> To say the least. You like steaks? Love it. Does a man love a steak? <laughs> and a beer. You want a beer? Why not? Mate, I'll buy you a beer, Because <laughs> you know what? That's the kind of guy I am. Yeah, we're, no, no, we're going to go around to my mate Michael's. Yep. And then we'll have a look. Um, we'll have a look at some cars. He builds a lot of the stuff you're into, you know, the cool street machine-y kind of yep. summer Nazi type cars. You'll, you'll recognise a lot of stuff there, I'm sure. Um, he can just run over the roundabout. I'm not sure he would have got a very good, perfect lap for that, mate. No, well, I'm, I'm not that much of a driver. More of a talker, actually, Bess, <laughs> as you probably realise. Whatever works. So this is your buddy, eh? Yeah, Michael, yeah. Something I thought you'd like to see, yeah. Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, so this is Michael. Michael built some pretty cool shit, which I'm sure he'll show you around. So up here is Fat RX3. That's the car that won Grand Champion at, at Summonats. Yeah. Exciting, so what's happening with that? Oh, just giving that a clean up, getting that ready for Motor X and Fed. So which car's your favorite bugger? of all the cars here. Mate, I'm a rotary guy, unfortunately, for these blokes. <laughs> but look, you know, I appreciate everything. 
So, thanks, mate. No worries, buddy. See you on the street. <laughs> Where are we going? Food. Food. Yeah, man. Get on the beers. Get on. Get on the beers. I actually like getting on the beers. I'll show you later. <laughs> so, Dan Andrews has been giving you plenty of advice. <laughs> yeah, he has, and I take it on board, Jay Man. It's like, he's a wise man. <laughs> Get on the beers. Get on the beers. <laughs> yeah, what about definitely. Motorex? Is that going to crank ahead, you Absolutely. Think? Yeah, you're on with that? Absolutely. That's always been one of my favourite shows, you know that, yeah, Jay Benz. Yeah. I was really, and I've, and I've, um, you know, I was, I was good mates with, um, with, with Webby down there, and we used to display there when I had the coating business, and yeah. it was always our religious, you know. That was the only show I told you. That's the only show we always religiously do. And, but that was always my favourite show. It was always the creme de la creme, you know. <laughs> Let's call it some yeah. of the best cars in the yeah. world. Yeah. You know, like Australia. Oh, it is, man. Australia, Australia's, Australians build some of the best cars. There's ever. no question about that. Yeah. You know, the it's level of detail and that, like that on that RX3 there. Like, yeah. You, you, there's a few of them in the US. I guess they're everywhere. But but there's a what, what I'd say. There's a there's there's probably more per capita in Australia than yeah. just about anywhere else. Yeah. You know, like you've got 300 million people in America, of course there's going to be, you know, more. Yeah. But, you know, there's only 25 million oh, people oh, here, so. Totally. The car culture in Australia, Jay Vince, has always been, you know, that's one thing where I never, I never felt worried about doing World Time Attack, even in the early days, because the car culture in Australia is probably stronger than anywhere else in the world, you know. It's, um, they're really passionate about it and, and people want to get behind and do things. They want to go out and be involved and so it was never a, um, in my mind, if people would come to see it, you know. I, I was, everyone kept saying, it's not a spectator sport, it's not that, that's all shit. I never believed any of that and nothing's a spectator sport if you don't make it a spectator sport. True, yeah. Per, you know, but on its own, even even circuit racing, it's just cars going around a circuit. You know, it's it's what you make it into, and yep. the show you put on, how you entertain people. I guess that's what I think of anyway. So what what we didn't see today, Jimmy, we've also got a company called Motor Graphics, which does. Yep. Um, uh, we do well. We can do anything. We do vehicle wraps, signings like that. It's only a one man band, and Jimmy's really good at what he does. And um, yeah, we got a lot of corporate clients that um, we you know do do um, you know vehicle signage and decals and so on for for some of the top end of town, actually. Yeah, nice. Mm. This is actually a sacred place where we go. Me and Bruce Garland, there used to be a place here called the Tree of Knowledge. <laughs> right. You know, 40 degree day, we go, you don't really want to be doing this shit, do you? No, so we just go down here and punch schooners. <laughs> <laughs> so by about one o'clock in summer, you know, the middle of summer, you just we just pack, pack up shop and move down there and discuss the uh, the way of the world pretty much you know when i used to work at express we used to go here for lunch oh the Burma, yeah so yeah. same with the strippers yeah no not the strippers well they, but... they had the strippers there for years <laughs> they were actually a peel back show originally yeah, right. me and alan yeah, does yeah. a lot of stuff with time yeah. attack with you over the yeah, years yeah, yeah yeah me and him walked in here for lunch one day when we were at express and um we went into the pub and yeah, it's pretty interesting the old ammo i used to know Peter, <laughs> you know it's, you know it's good when they film episodes of uh, Houseos and stuff in there. So Alan told you about um, Shazza from Houseos, yeah? No. So last year we um, we uh, we decided to do a, a try if we you know try and help a little bit with charities and stuff where we can. Mm -hmm. I think she so. works for Starlight. Correct. Yeah. yeah so I we, know that through, through we, a mate of mine. We were sitting in the room in there, and the lady goes, oh, "I'm going to bring in your case manager. She, she's had a bit to do with Starlight Foundation. We were just like, I'm going to raffle off some rides for you, and you know, we'll see <laughs> if we can raise a bit of cash, and, yeah. and more, but more, we can bring the sick kids out for a day out there. So we go to the room, and it was pretty cool, right? Yeah. Anyway. So we're sitting in the room, and they said, um, uh, "This is for Time Attack, right? Yeah, yeah, for World Time Attack. Wow, yeah. They said, they said, um, we'll bring in your case manager, and." and um, and we're sitting there, and Alan's tapping me on. He goes, oh, I know that chick from somewhere. As soon as she, she goes, I'll just go and get you a drink. She went out to get us some water, and he goes, It's Shazza from Houses. <laughs> <laughs> and it was. <laughs> That's a day job. Kids loved it, right? Oh yeah, we got a whole bunch. We gave them a whole yeah. room, and the catering, um, Wendy from catering, put on a, a bit of a spread for them, and yeah. we raffled off some rides in the Brabham, and a whole. And I'm going to do it again. Actually, I'm going to. Um, we've got some other ideas that we. That's like the feel good stuff, eh? Like the well, real, you know, like it's not only feel good. It's just being good. Being you know, good, really. Yeah. I think that you know, yeah. it's it's um, you probably should do a bit of shit for the people that aren't as lucky as you. Less I reckon. You most know? fortunate, yeah. And especially the sick kids, like yeah. so. That was pretty cool, you know, walking around, and, and a lot of those kids would know the cars and Tsuchiya and Tarzan and that, they, you know, they'd go up watching YouTube, so. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, no, it was a pretty good thing we did, yeah. And, and it was Shazza from House Nose that helped us do it. She, I shouldn't say that. It's, it's Ellie, and she's, she's a lovely lady. <laughs> she's a bloody good actress too, by the way. So this is this is bloody good stakes in here, Jay Vince, because okay. I, figure, I figure tonight, 
is we'll really just, about we'll tonight's just snack. Pro- well tonight's probably going to be about drinking right not eating i'm all in knowledge used to pump straight up out of there before they put the cover on this is the west ride hotel the legendary it's called mary's actually the west ride hotel yeah no we can't so we're all coveted in let's go have a look uh chips and veg thanks and any gravy for you uh bernays please yep. tea bones you want a tea bone do too yeah Not a lot wrong with it, Jabez, I'll tell you. Looks good, mate. There's a sign. Have you, have you been to India? Well, come and get this India. <laughs> you can demolish a steak, mate. Yeah, they weren't bad steaks, actually. I don't mind a slice of cow. Righto, Jabez, let's be not here. So, Baker's just telling me the rule is can't go to the pub before 3 o'clock. Three, it's a, it's a 3, 3 p.m. pre-curfew, we call it. <laughs> So, so you can't go there any earlier than that. Otherwise, sort of like entering a, a smash-up derby that's meant to be at nine o'clock at night, and you <laughs> enter it at three o'clock. You and your mate. How do you reckon the car's going to look by eight thirty? Yeah, not great. Smashed. Yeah, not great. Been doing this a few years, JB. Have you? Yeah. Not believe you. it or not. <laughs> so this is actually we're going to drive past. You can get a shot of it. Yeah. This is where we actually started. Me and EJ and Bruce Garland and everything. This was. This was. On the right here, this service station on the right here, this one here, that's where me and Bruce and EJ and everyone started. We built the Metro cabs in there. So we were the seventh biggest car manufacturer in the country in that little garage. Seventh? Seventh biggest, yeah, behind, you know, Mitsubishi and... Mad. 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 <laughs> Back at the office. Mad serious about this right this is not a well-known fact right but it's true I'm not a morning person I don't like morning peoples or morning or people <laughs> tell us about this crazy well this is actually Linda and Inga gave me this this is like so Inga sneakily collected a, a sample of every front of the shirt that we've done since 2009 and she made this up for me and her and Linda I thought it's pretty cool the 2008 we didn't even have any merchandise so because because we, we'd never even run an event before, so that just tells the whole story right through to right through to the last one there, 2019. And then you know what, Jay Benz, as well, because you're here, mate. I'm going to give you one of these books, champ. Right, you can still buy these online on uh, wtashop.com. Free plug, shameless free plug. <laughs> right, now that's why we come back here, mate. Right, now we're um, I'm going to go and show you another. This is like a normal Friday, right? Yeah, it's exactly. How to roll gonna, out. Something that you don't know much about. I've got another little venture going in Balmain, which I'm going to go and show you about. It's what we call the covert location. That who's, bloke. Who's that boy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Before we begin, that was about five hours ago. Is this like the story of today? Yeah. Let's have a look at the end. Why is there a picture of a schooner at the end of the book? Follow me. Mad. We're in the uh, downtown back blocks of Roselle here in Sydney, Australia. In Australia, we say, Roselle, mate. Here you go. You know, man, you go, <laughs> man. Jabez? How's it going? Man. David? Hey, young Jabez? David? This is Mads. Hello? How are you going? Good. So, come here, I'll start out the front. This is because we're in Balmain, okay? So, Tora Sumi doesn't actually make any sense. It's two Japanese words. Tora means tiger. We're in Balmain. Tiger. You won't be talking about anything bar tigers here, I can tell you. <laughs> and Sumi means ink. So it's basically tiger ink. Right. There you go. There you go. And how long has it been around? Uh, we've been here since 2012, I guess, yeah. This is Talon. She's um, doing some rock star stuff. Talon Shannon's leg. <laughs> Fernando over here, he's doing a mad, look at the detail on this bro, it's beautiful, beautiful work, is it good? I love it. It's very good. <laughs> Sketch style watercolour, very unique style, very unique to him, Peso colour. This is um, Ayo, he's just, he's just going through his Facebook feed at the moment, you know? How are you mate? Hi, sweet dance, how are you? Good, what's happening? 
Um, just went for an added claim. This is Jay Benz. Say hello. Oh, yeah. How are you going? Good, and you? So really good, good. Prentice. This is the legendary gem car. Hi. She does, she does a very yeah. unique style of watercolour tattoo that you can see up here. She's actually world famous. She's quite shy and high to be on the mask, which is yeah. very famous around the world for doing this type of stuff. Very bright colours and... That's me, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Surprised I fit on the screen. Mad. So what do you love about tattooing? Uh, love to make people painful. <laughs> <laughs> love to put people in pain. Yeah. Like you can create something and then you sell your art easily. And people are like, I feel love that people come and get my flesh and love what I'm doing and trust what I'm doing. So they give us skin, do it. And it's forever. <laughs> What's the thing you love most about it? Uh, the people, you know, it's what's what's cool is, you know, we started with nothing there. It was just a concept and you know, you may not notice it there, but there's some of the top artists in the country now. It's not just it's not just a, and we've been quite selective of who we get there over the years. It's sort of, you know, um, we've always had that high end expectation, it's taken a long time to get there, but you know, now these these collective in there are like I said, some of the best you'll see in this country and probably some of them in the world. All right, so we've been a million places, but where are we going now? Probably one of the so, most important. So right? this is probably one of my favourite places in Balmain. And um, it's a place that uh, I'm sure you'll fall in love with it, just like I did. It's an old stone place with a bit of heritage and nice, fresh, cold, crisp tap beers. <laughs> <laughs> I do like a tap beer. Cold, I don't hate cold them. tap beer. Don't hate them. And, and if you do the hate them. The owns the place. Yeah. Is one mad Buddha. <laughs> Irish, I'm guessing. Yeah, you'll, think, you'll meet him in a minute. He's been a, mate, you know, he's been a big behind the scenes supporter of World Times Act with me, you know, and wow. he sponsored, when we bought the Shanahan boys out here, yep. um, he was the first one that put his hand up and said, I'll pay for it. And he did. And he sort of, he, you know, he's, um, yeah, he's helped me in a lot of ways. He's always sponsored our event. There's, you know, it's, um, yeah, we're just good mates and, and it's a bloody good place and he's a bloody good bloke and we're going to have a bloody good afternoon. <laughs> Sounds bloody brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> there's no s*** <laughs> bits. No, there's none. There's been no s*** bits all day. No. Great steak. Yeah. Great company. So where are we, Baker? Righto. So we're in, in, in uh, Rumsay Street, which is a... Uh, this is a Friday street, ritual for you? Uh, <laughs> I try and only do days that start with tea. We, go, we keep it to today, tomorrow, <laughs> Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday and Sunday. Welcome to the Board Rock Hotel. My name's Ian and I'll be your host for this afternoon. This is the man we refer to as God, G-O-D. His real name's Francie. Mr. Hayes. How are you, Baker? This is the boss. Yeah, I'm very good, mate. No, not the boss. I'm just showing the you The boss is upstairs, okay? <laughs> just showing you around your fine establishment. Good on you. What's this? We'll be out the back. You know what this is. You definitely know what this is. Don't lie to me. <laughs> this is a beer. What do you got there, Bakes? Well, you know, like I said, I don't like morning people. Or morning, or f***ing people. But, you do like, but I do like tap beers. Cheers, boys. Cheers, boys. Test, 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 test. Bakes, yeah, what, a great, what a great day, mate. Yeah, I've enjoyed fantastic. hanging out with you, mate. Been unreal, too. I've enjoyed it, too. We're going to do random 21, right? Yep. I don't even know what I'm going to ask you. It's not prepared. There's nothing. Let's go. All right. You just bought a new house. What colour are you going to paint it? Ah, uh, black. Black. <laughs> Any German car in the world you can have it right now. Ah, uh, the new Porsche is killer. Which one? That 930 Turbo S. 930 Turbo. Oh, no, no, 911 Turbo. S. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm old. I'm old. He's old. The, the new 911 Turbo S is killer. Favorite Mexican meal. Mexican meal nachos. Do you have guacamole and sour cream? Absolutely. You going to a wedding? What color shirt do you wear? Pink. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bit of honest. You going to buy a dog tomorrow? Yep. What breed? Uh, I reckon a Shiba Inu. 
A what? Cuba Inu. Cheers, cheers. Right. Cheers, yep. Yeah. Favourite Sonny's brand? Spy. I only wear Spy, mate. <laughs> Never supported yeah, me for years. Mad. Mad. Right. Weekend away. Blue Mountains or Newcastle? Ah, uh, Blue Mountains. Because my mate owns two bottle shops in the Blue Mountains. <laughs> Peter Brock, Dick Johnson. Definitely Peter Brock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you just bought yourself VK Brock yep. SS, yep. Formula Blue. Yep. It's got one kilometre on it. Max one kilometre. Yep. But it's got a it's got a cassette player. Yeah. What, to, got what, to, what album are you putting in there? Uh, Your first first album play okay, in the car. Okay, back in black. I should say. Australia! <laughs> Angels or ACDC? Well, that's an awkward one because Dave Gleason's actually a mate of mine. <laughs> Who's also from a legendary band. Exactly. Number, number number Jets. New Jets. Boy. So so I'd have to say Angels on that one. What was your first car? 956 Volkswagen. <laughs> What's the shittest pub you've ever been to? Uh, certainly not here. <laughs> favourite beer? Uh, Carlton Draft. Second favourite beer? Corona. We shouldn't say that today, too loud. <laughs> Third favourite beer? Third favourite beer would have to be, that's an awful one, maybe, maybe Reshus. You're at your mate's house, he's run out of beer, yep. he's got every spirit in the world. Yep. What are you having, and what are you having it with? A Jack Daniels and Coke? Or if there's no Jack Daniels and Coke, I'll tell you a secret, I actually drink white wine too. <laughs> I don't mind a, a, I don't mind a Brown Brothers Crouchon Riesling or something like that. Favourite aircon temperature? Uh, about minus three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Yeah. All this 21, 18. Yeah. <laughs> nah, you're in New South Wales, you're going to go on a holiday. Yep. South Coast. Over Christmas, yep. you spend this time south coast on the beach, Ola Dulla way, yep. or really nice, beautiful rural farm in the southern highlands. Yeah, I'm the farm guy. Yeah, farm guy. Yep. You're given a free membership, right? Yeah. Yoga or gym, bro? <laughs> I'm not doing yoga. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite movie? Pulp Fiction. You're going from Australia yeah. to South America, right? Yeah. Going there for a month to party. Yeah. Do so you go there on a private jet? Or in a submarine, both. Let's just say, get there in the same time. Say the submarine's got thousand turbos. Hey, <laughs> 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 I ain't doing. Let me tell you something. A submarine that gets there as quick as a private plane, it's going to be very high risk. So I'm going in the plane. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite sport? Uh, like ball sport. Ball sport. Ooh, that's an interesting one. Um, may, maybe uh, netball. <laughs> yeah. Talk about time attack. Favorite time attack car? Uh, that's a tie with four cars. Under Suzuki, yeah. RB96A, MCA, and uh, Tilton. Here's a question. If you didn't run time attack at Sydney Motorsport Park, yeah. what other venue in the world would you run to that? To Cooper Circuit. And, and I'll tell you the reason why that is, well, because, because these cars are engineered for that circuit. What, what, and there's a, there's a safety factor outside of what we do here. Yeah. And to go to a shorter circuit's fine, but to go to a bigger circuit will be a big problem. No doubt, as an event guy, you want people to go home the same way they turned up. Absolutely, mate. That, that's my. That's the, the as number much one as it, thing. As much as all the, all internet, the, cool it, shit, all the internet joggies keep telling me we're doing the wrong thing, yeah. the reality is we've done a lot of research on what we're doing. Yeah. And, lot, um, and safety is number one. And yeah, City Motorsport Park is where we are. But if we're going to go anywhere else, it have to be secure. You just ordered the Uber? Yeah. Any car in the world, what do you want to go home in? And you've had 20 beers. Honestly? How many of us is for it? So we know that we're definitely going to need a... It's four of us. Oh, shit. That's not going to work here because I was going to say a, a McLaren well, F1. Let's do, let's do it. <laughs> let's, go, let's go. There's two of us and then there's four of us. Okay. Well, if there's if it's two of us, we're going to McLaren F1. Four of us? Which is an analogue car. The good thing I like about the McLaren is it's analogue. It's totally. totally it's like, it's, it's the real shit, you know? <laughs> all these new cars have all the, you know, drive yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough, they make it work very well. Yeah, yeah. But that's the proper shit. If, if you can't drive, you're going to crash. <laughs> what about four of us? Four of us? Wow. Um, I probably <laughs> think a Hyundai R30. <laughs> you just redid your office nice? Yeah. What plant do you buy? Maybe a Venus flytrap. I love things that eat things. <laughs> Last question. If you could have done this video of anybody else today. Me, okay, me. Me. I can't think of anybody else I'd rather do it with. Hey, I'll mean that. <laughs> you're mad. Last question, because I know you're a cool dude. If you could live anywhere in the world and it can't be Australia, where would you live in and what kind of 
what kind of house? Townhouse, farm, this, that, anywhere, any country in the world. Can't be Australia though. Well, so, so that depends on the game. Like, if you, if you had a serious amount of money, America's a good place to live. If you don't, it's probably not. But Wh which, which state, in what kind of place, and where? Uh, anywhere in the world. Oh, Miami would be f cool. <laughs> <laughs> in what it's probably in what? somewhere near a racetrack, you know. Yeah. I, so I'd probably like live. Well, I'm a race car guy, you know. Yeah. So, so probably, m maybe, maybe in a castle on, next to Spa or something like that. I don't need like. <laughs> no. I just need something with a big garage. Sure. Something with a big garage. You can bring all the cars and race them. <laughs> That's all. Whereabouts? Indian maybe Road Atlanta or something. Indian Indian numbers. Numbers. Yeah, whatever. Okay, don't even answer that. We somewhere near a <laughs> cool racetrack with a big garage. We can bring all the cars and race them. And a cool pub as good as this one, the Bob Rock, right? That's it. Thank you, bro. Legend. We're done. See you later. Smash.